Beaumont residents in the city's north end have found themselves in a foul situation. A peacock is running amok in their neighborhood. Tom Wright joined the great peacock hunt today and he now joins us from the newsroom. Tom, I guess you're exhausted. Well, Sally, this is truly tales from the weird side. Let's go to the videotape and I'll show you what I mean. This bird has generated quite a mystery in the neighborhood just near Minglewood. Where is it from? Why is it here? And how long will it stay? Photographer George Garza and I braved the dangers of the dreaded peacock to get close enough for these shots despite tales of peacocks swooping down and poking out one's eyes. We found out something we didn't know. Peacocks can fly and quite fly quite successfully. It became a real spectacle in the neighborhood. Neighbors got out the camera and Burton here got out the tape recorder so that he got with for Christmas. With the tape recorder and the next thing you know you have this recorder for posterity. All because of the big bird. <laughs> Now with the peacock running amok all around the neighborhood, the animal control made its way after several phone calls from neighbors fearing that the, the peacock would never leave. Animal control here on the scene. Now the great peacock hunt is underway. The animal experts trapped the peacock. Intense moments followed. Could they nab the colorful bird with just a rope and a pole? No! The bird outfoxed them with the bird laughing from on high. The dejected and demoralized hunters explained to neighbors that children and car windows are safe. The bird only occasionally swoops down and pokes out one's eyes. But now the neighborhood is uncertain what to do about the peacock. But we haven't been able to trace who it belongs to for sure, you know. Nobody's reported one missing. It hasn't swooped down and tried to poke anyone's eyes out? No, but uh, we're a little apprehensive that it might, so we're all <laughs> keeping our distance. <laughs> and now we have this late information, Sally, from a fellow by the name of Frank Fernie, who called us up after seeing our news break, and he says this, this indeed right? may be his peacock. Two peacocks are missing. His beloved Chester and Henrietta have flown the coop, perhaps kidnapped by the dreaded peacock kidnappers. Perhaps Chester sloped down, poked out the eyes and escaped, is now running amok in this neighborhood near Minglewood. Tear it for Chester. Great job, Tom. <laughs>